today we're talking about iron categories. Jackie has just hit some shots with four different iron categories, all different models from TaylorMade. We're going to break down the data and explain why each of these categories is unique. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka in the tour van. Jackie has just hit shots with four different TaylorMade irons, all kind of a different category. Uh, so we've got the TaylorMade P7MB, which is the like smallest and most blade-like iron. The P770, which is kind of a player's sort of, I, I guess, kind of in the cavity back, not really a blade, not a player's distance, kind of in between. Player's distance iron, the P790, and then the Sim2, which is a game improvement iron. So we've got dad on the screen and we've got Jackie to explain the differences here. But uh, before even starting Jackie, looking at the data, just looking at the appearance of these clubs, they're all very different from each other. Yeah, I mean, you got the P7MB, that's a blade, right? Mm -hmm. And working your way all the way up, obviously, you know, the 770, 790, uh, very similar look, 770 is just a little bit thinner. And then the Sim2 Max is, Obviously, a yeah. game improvement iron, so mm -hmm. definitely a little bit more bulky. Top line's a little bit thicker. Yeah. Uh, you know, just more tungsten weight back there. So. Yeah, exactly. So the idea here, and you can, well, we'll discuss this a little bit here, but the idea with a game improvement iron, such as the Sim 2 Max, is there's more weight low and behind the club face. Yep. And what that does is that stabilizes it and also increases launch. And then what they've done too, these are a little bit stronger lofted uh, to make sure that launch uh, the ball off the imp off the face is in that perfect window. So what you see out of this iron is more forgiveness, more distance. And now we can kind of transition to look at the data here a little bit too. We can see the Sim2 Max on screen is the farthest dispersion up there. It's also uh, the smallest. Yeah. So uh, gonna be the most uh, forgiving club. Whether you maybe you might hit off the center, you might miss off the toe side or the heel side, but these type of clubs are aimed to help those people that do miss the center of the club face a little bit. Yeah, and you know I think that when talking about what we're going to see here in the data, obviously we know that P7 MB is going to have a lot more loft. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm not, I'm for sure not going to get as much distance. Right. Which is fine. I think we just want to showcase yeah, yeah. more dispersion more than mm -hmm. maybe distance in a yeah. sense. But um, yeah, I would expect you know before we I even hit the shots that. The P7MB would definitely be shorter, yeah. uh, and that there would be some miss hits in there that would definitely impact the dispersion. Yeah, oh yeah. And then P770, P790, uh, very similar to each other, but 790 is a little bit hotter, so maybe a little bit more distance with that than yeah. the P770. And then the Sim2 Max, gonna get more distance. Correct. Going to uh, maybe see a little bit tighter dispersion just because of the forgiveness in the club. Yeah, so, so let's look at that dispersion and let's go, let's start with the Sim2 Max. Yep. Um, we'll look at, talk about data, we'll talk about the dispersion. So it's a game improvement iron category. So kind of talk us through, you know, the data, what you're seeing from it, and why, you know, this club is giving us that information. Yeah, right. you know, when you take a look at all the shots I hit, I, um, all my club head speed with Sim2 Max, 790 and the 770 are basically all the same. Yeah. Uh, 7MB is a little bit slower. Uh, that could just simply be due to lack of confidence with the club head yeah. or, yeah. Should be, yeah. So, um, and you move down here, Sim2 Max had the most ball speed, which you would expect. Yep. Uh, smash factor was the highest. Launch angle was the lowest, which mm -hmm. again, you'd expect because the loft. Yep. And then the spin rate was, uh, you know, it's actually a little bit more spin than the 790, probably because I was hitting it a little bit better than the 790. Yeah. So I am was hitting, finding the club face a little bit more. Okay. So that spin was a little bit more, you can see here consistency was a little bit better as well with that Sim2 Max and the rest. Uh, carry yardage 135, so we're gaining about six yards of carry wow. than any other club. Uh, and so, and you know, almost 20 with compared to the P7MB. Yeah, so I mean, I think what you're kind of getting to with these numbers anyway, the game improvement category, something like a Sim2 Max, you know, it's, uh, talk about other brands like T300 from Titleist, uh, you know, G425 Ping, yep. a Callaway, you know, we got the Apex DCB or the Maverick right now. Um, but those are irons designed for people that 
need more distance, yep. need more launch, need more forgiveness. Uh, it's not going to be for the player that wants the most control over their ball flight. You know, they try to flight the shots higher or lower or hit a draw or a fade. Yep. This golfer that fits into these clubs is not worried about that. They're just worried about hitting the ball high and straight at the target, right? Yeah. Now moving on to the P790. This is the player's distance category. So kind of moving you know, into a smaller club head where you lose a little bit of that forgiveness, but the distance is still there. And we see that on the map here as well. You still have enough distance, uh, but you get a little bit uh, more workability in a little bit smaller club head. Yeah, for sure. I think when you're talking about the numbers across the board here, uh, honestly, pretty predictable. Uh, ball speed just a little bit less than that Sim 2 Max at 96. Uh, smash factor 1.31, probably a little low. Uh, didn't hit it as flush as right. I would have liked. Uh, and then you got launch angle at 21.7, so a little bit higher than that Sim 2 Max. Uh, spin rate was actually lower, so you know I was rolling this out 11 yards, yeah. which isn't great, but also I had, you know, a couple that I pulled and then went yeah. a little bit right. So that definitely had a factor there. Mm -hmm. um, and then looking at height, you know, and landing angle, 70 feet in the air, landing angle at, you know, 43.5. So it's actually lower than the Sim 2 Max, which is interesting. Uh, and then mm -hmm. the height is actually lower too. Yeah, so we've, we've noticed the P790 model in particular is really like a hot club face. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, we get that extra distance, but then one thing you notice with this category in general, kind of that hollow body, like thicker club head, is sometimes there is disparity on distance. So yeah. sometimes when you really connect on one, it kind of goes an extra 10 yards that you really didn't think you had sometimes. And so you see on the map that dispersion's, I think probably the widest. I yeah. think it's because of that you see uh, whether it's north to south dispersion as well, you see a lot of room there because there is that kind of, that, that's maybe the one knock. So if you're a player that's really worried about distance control, perhaps, maybe the P790 category, that player's distance category, might not be the perfect one for you, but uh, uh, it still delivers the distance. It still is a little bit of workability, but again, there's just that, that consistency on distance that can kind of go a little bit RE with, with this one. Yeah. You know, 140 total yards, that's typically what I hit my seven iron. So, you know, overall, pretty good. Just mm -hmm. dispersion, not great with this yeah. one. So, um, but yeah, going into P770, yep. um, so this is, you know, as you're taking a look at the data from this, you know, you got 96 miles an hour in ball speed. So mm -hmm. actually 96.3, which is actually higher than the P790. So oh. I was hitting a little bit better. Um, you know, same smash factor as the P790, a little bit higher launch angle on the P770, mm -hmm. which is what you'd expect with a little bit more loft than yep. the P790. Uh, definitely interesting on the spin. I, I didn't expect it to get as much spin as that. Yeah. So uh, I was hitting it maybe, you know, maybe a little fat is what I felt. Um, this is actually my new gamer. So okay. well, there we um, go. that's a little bit high in mm -hmm. spin so typically you'd see maybe a little bit low but I, I felt like I was chunking a little bit with it but in any regard you're, you're taking a look at this and you're getting you know 128 and carry yardage which is about a yard shy of what mm -hmm. the P790 was but just not rolling out as much because of that spin right right um, but the height was good at 78 feet that's great landing angles at 47 which is great uh, you know everything else is pretty standard pretty to the good. rest yeah. yeah and so I think one thing we should note too, in general, as you go from a larger club head gear improvement category yeah. to something smaller in the more player's iron, you also add loft. Yep. And so with this, as we go down this line, we're adding more loft to the club, which will bring the dispersion kind of shorter on the map and it will also increase launch and things like that. Um, but this is where you get to this category here, which is kind of your, you know, T100 or T100S category, yep. um, you know, ping I210, uh, Callaway, you know, Apex Pro, things like that are probably going to fall into this category. You're looking at, this is now the player that does kind of want to control their ball flight a little yeah. bit. Might want to hit that fade to a right hand pin location or vice versa with a draw, or might want to flight it a little bit lower in some windy conditions, things like that. You can do that a lot better with an iron like this that's a little bit smaller than something like a Sim 2 Max that's bigger and is only pretty much aimed at forgiveness and distance. Yeah. I, I mean, I think that's a good note too, and I, that's what I was going to bring up with the P7MB yep. here as we talk about it. But 
you know, a lot of people are watching this and are thinking, well, why aren't you gaming the Sim 2 Max? Right. Well, that's because you're not going to hit a, yeah, right, and you're not going to hit, you know, every shot with your iron, and that can be perfectly, right. you know, like uh, ideal conditions like this where there's no wind and your lie's perfect, you know, you have to work yeah. things around, you have to manipulate a little bit, and you can't do that with the Sim 2 Max. Yeah. And as a really good player like yourself, when you're trying to be as precise as possible, that's where we can now transition to the P7MB where, um, you know, that's for the most precise of the precise golfers. Yeah where someone that hits, you know, they hit right here on the club face every time they swing. And with that, they can work the ball more. They can hit the high shot, hit the low shot. They can hit the fade that they need to. And then if they do hit it, I mean, when they hit it in the center, it's not going to jump farther either like this player resistance category. Yeah. It's going to be consistent and give the player what they want. Yeah, and, and I think, like, when you're talking about the P7MB, um, definitely wasn't as confident out of the gate with this. You can right. kind of just tell by my smash factor and just how I was making connection. But you're definitely going to get more spin out of a, you know, a blade club because yeah. it has more loft, mm -hmm. right? So oh, yeah. the goal of that is to get higher launch and to get more spin. Um, so, you know, this P7MB has got the most launch angle, most spin by mm -hmm. a, a lot, you know, almost 6,000 RPMs. And then, you know, carry yards at 116 and total 123. So a significant loss in distance. But... In theory, when you're talking about loft, this is basically like an eight iron, right. maybe even a little less than some of these other clubs, right. especially is, the Sim 2 Max. Right. The <laughs> loft, I mean, the loft of the P7MB is probably weaker than the eight iron of the Sim 2 Max, yeah. if you think about it. Yeah. So it's that's another piece of this whole conversation with iron categories is loft and how much they change from category to category. So it's an important thing to consider, though, because when you get fit for clubs, you know, making sure you fit into the right category. Uh, I know that's what our team, that's yeah. the one of the things we do every single time in iron fitting is nail that down. But golfers, if you don't know what iron category you should be playing, that is a, you know, number one thing to, to make sure you focus on when you're trying to maybe build out a new iron set um, is making sure that the type of iron that you're playing fits your swing because otherwise you are, it's like our, our friend Larry Bob, his favorite saying is trying to, eat soup with a fork. That's yep. kind of what it's like if you are playing an iron category that you not fit into. Yeah. Oh, well, and I just wanted to point this last thing out here is, you know, you, you got the Sim 2 Max. I just want to show where mm -hmm. I'm making contact. Sure. Sim 2 Max is right off, just a little off the toe there. 790. A little some more in different, the center. Yep. 770 is actually dead middle. And then the P7MB is pretty much in the middle there. Yeah. So but notice you hit the Sim 2 Max almost the almost worst. contact wise was yeah. the worst, you know, in terms of hitting the center of the face. Most of them were not in the center, but it was the furthest and that dispersed circle was the smallest. Yeah. And so I think that's just a good note in terms of, okay, well, you know, the, the two best clubs I technically hit with all these shots are the P7MB and the Sim 2 Max, completely different clubs. Right. Uh, but in this case, you know, for me, what would I, what would I fit into? I, I'm looking at 790 to 770, that would be long-term better for me. Mm -hmm. um, just because when you think about, you know, 100 shots in, which club is actually going to be the tightest dispersion, I'd bet money on P770, P790 yeah. all day long in terms of my swing. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of people, you know, they Im immediately go to game improvement at Sim 2 Max or, you know, in another brand in that, you know, yeah. that oh, club yeah. head. But the reality is it's not... That th just because you might be a higher handicap doesn't necessarily mean that you should be in that club based off the numbers that you generate, mm -hmm. you know, in a fitting. So um, a lot of people fit into the player's distance um, category and game improvement category or, you know, the P790 in this, in is... In this range here, that's a, yeah. that's a large majority of golfers, I think. Um, 100%. And that's yeah. because it gives you the most performance, the most forgiveness. Um, and then very rarely are the golfers kind of, I mean, at that stage in their golf skill set where they're worried more about how they're shaping the shot than yep. hitting it at the target you know that's that's where these the p770 p7 mb come into play but if you're if you need forgiveness if you don't hit the center of the face every time you're probably in one of these two categories so for sure that's kind of the, the summary here but golfers if you want a synopsis on your swing uh what iron category you fit into uh you can stop into a second swing store you can schedule a fitting with a uh, master fitter such as jackie We'll get you dialed in and uh, make sure that you're hitting iron shots at the target and getting what you want out of your golf equipment. So 
Jackie, thank you for joining, providing your insight today. I think this is a very important topic, and it's I think it's a good one for golfers to make sure they know. Yeah, thanks for having me.